Good morning, this is Keith All, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a text shadow effect in Photoshop. Now, this shadow effect is going to be different from a drop shadow where you would go to uh, your layer here, double click on it, and open up the layer styles dialog box and select drop shadow. So, we're not going to be using that feature here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a creative effect using a couple layers and uh, using a free transform uh, tool. So let's go over to a new tab and we'll create something similar to this. Now the first step is to create your text layer. So we're going to go ahead and select, type in a word. Let's click this tick mark up here to accept the changes and we can move it to wherever we want to on here. And now what we want to do is we want to duplicate this layer. So we're going to come over here to the layers panel and click on control J on your Windows PC. It's a shortcut to duplicate the layer. Now what we want to do is we want to um, uh, come down here and uh, basically uh, our bottom layer we want to change it to a, a color of black. So what we can do is here double click on this uh, the T the thumbnail of your bottom layer here and it will highlight your text here if you come up here now we're going to select black as the color so we're going to select OK and now we're going to hit enter or uh, click on that check mark in order to see your text let's hide this top layer and you can see that it changed to black so what we want to do now is we want to rasterize uh, this layer, uh, the bottom layer. Let's do that. Okay, now let's use the free transform tool. We got this layer selected, and now we're going to use the free transform tool. We could use Control T to um, uh, select that. And now we're going to right click on the free transform tool here that we selected. And we're going to select warp. And now let's just use these anchor points that you see here, the round points or even the square points, and click and drag out to get the effect that you want. And as you can see, it's grabbing the bottom layer which is the layer that is currently selected in the layers panel and all you do is drag it out to create that shadow here and just keep doing this until you get the effect that you want okay so now let's press enter or use this uh, check mark up here to commit the transform. Okay. Now what we want to do is we, we could add other effects. We could change the opacity over here or even let's put a blur effect on it. Let's go up to the filter, select filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And then change the radius as you see fit. Now watch what it does. If you increase it, and it just changes the blur effect that you want. So you can play around with this to get the effect that you want. Let's bring it down just a bit. Let's keep it that is that click OK. Now 
let's change the opacity. Let's see what happens with the opacity when we decrease it. There's 100% opacity. Let's bring it down to 50%. Okay, there's about 53%. Let's uh, increase it just a bit. Okay. So that's a different way that you could add a shadow to your text or even if you have a, a shape uh, by just adding a couple layers and using the free transform tool and using a warp option to create a an effect that you want or a shadow effect that you want so hopefully this tutorial gave you a new idea a new way to create shadows in your Photoshop uh, uh, projects and uh, don't forget to um, uh, click on the subscribe button and click on that bell notification so you always get updated when a new video is uploaded and always please like share and comment because that helps out the community uh, and it helps me create better uh, videos in the future and gives me ideas on creating new tutorials. Thanks again for stopping by. You have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.